<laughs> Cause I mean, look at me. <laughs> and then I want you to look at my friends, if you know them. <laughs> we look good. And that's on who? Mary had a little lamb, all right? <laughs> Why am I like this? But no, I'm not lying. We look good. We look good bummy. We look good without no makeup. We only put makeup when we feel like it. We don't put makeup on because we have to. Is your friend just like that? <laughs> the whole friend group? I'll wait. I bet it ain't. But as for me and mine, we look good bummy. We look good natural faced. I mean, despite me getting cute to do these videos. And we look good with a face. We look good with natural hair. We look good with glasses. We look good with braids and wigs. All of the above. We look good with a ponytail and a hoodie. We look good with a ball cap on. We look good here. We look good there. We look good everywhere. Redfish, bluefish, right flesh. <laughs> Call me Dr. Seuss. But me and my friends look good. And that's on period. So I don't even know why <laughs> y'all ain't cut that shit for real, for real. I really don't. I, I really don't. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, I was just listening to Jasmine Sullivan's Girl Like Me, and that song literally is the story of my life because these guys want the little thoughts over there. They don't want the little wives and good girls. Y'all can keep that over there because whoever got is stirring up in the works over here for me. Y'all can be y'all can be hate from the outside of the club because you can't even get in. Cause don't try to come get me when I'm taken. Cause baby. <laughs> I'm dead serious though. She said, you can make a hoe out of me. I ain't about to become no hoe. But I felt that entire song in my gut. <laughs> Drop it. What's up, everybody? It's me, Angie B, back again with another video. So today's video is going to be kind of like a new approach to being single. Um, it's kind of crazy because my entire friend group right now, oh, except one person, everybody except one person in my friend group is single. And it's like three different levels that I can see from my group of friends that we are in right now. <laughs> so y'all, we got the people in my friend group who basically are pimping right now. That's the best way I can say it. You know, living their life as they should. Then we got <laughs> this group of people who's entertaining and just foolishness. I'm a part of the entertain foolishness club. Um, like I know that that's somebody I don't really want to be with, but I just need some entertainment. It's a couple of us in this one. And then I got a friend over here who claims she's just attracting bozos, I don't want to call nobody ugly because I want to have kids, but basically she's saying they ugly, like it's not her type. She keeps saying like, I don't want a Bobby Brown. I want a Chris Brown. That's literally her words. So those are three different levels of singleness that my friends and myself are in right now. And it's just so interesting to see how we all handle these different situations. Today, I'm specifically going to be talking about the group of friends who entertain foolishness and the group of friends who feel like that they're only attracting people not their type. Yeah, I'm not calling nobody ugly, but y'all get what I'm saying, okay? So, just to start with the people who are entertaining foolishness, um, I'm personally, I know me and a couple of my friends said we are personally like, just tired of doing that. Like we know that that's not who we gonna end up with type stuff like that, you know? But it was a video that Gugu, who is Mary Mary's little sister, 
posted on Instagram the other week and sis was talking to me. She was like, y'all keep entertaining these fools, these clowns. And you are basically turning away the man that God may be sending you because they see that you're in a situation ship or, you know, entertaining. That's gonna be the word of this video, entertaining, okay? So this is the video, like, sis was speaking facts. I don't know who needs to hear this, but God is not gonna bless you with a husband while you're entertaining situationships. Um, that's his son. You think his son would, you think he would bless his son with some mess? Do you wanna be blessed? blessed with somebody that's in a situation whose heart is tied up and then you pull them away from that you got to deal with the relapses and all no that's messy god ain't doing all that messy stuff so if you entertain the situationships put all your hope and faith in that because god is not going to collaborate and say okay you could just slide him out today and then tomorrow i'll have somebody fill the void for you like that's god is not doing that y'all and i don't want nobody to get on here and say yes he did bless me god didn't bless you you were tricked honey okay and so yeah so god is not blessing nobody that's in situationships with his choice son or daughter Daughter, he's not going to bring them in on no mess that's not fair he wouldn't do that to them and he wouldn't do that to you if you have been blessed with that the devil blessed you I personally feel like I do not need to go into that subject any longer because she said it all God is trying to send you your king your special one and you over here messing with drones <laughs> and God trying to send you Ricky <laughs> That's the inside joke between me and two of my friends. But yeah, Jerome is not who God designed for you, but Ricky is being deterred away because you're focusing on Jerome, who don't even want you. And you know that he don't want you when you just, well, he wants you for the wrong reasons, okay? Let me just say it like that, okay? But Ricky over here is like looking at you and Jerome, flirt or whatever, and Ricky's like, dang, I just wanna, Dang, that might be my wife, but my wife is over here with Jerome. <laughs> okay, now to the friend group or the portion of the friend group who feel like they're only attracting people that they're not attracted to. So you might hear this a lot, like you are what you attract type stuff like that. So this particular friend was like, y'all, I must not be cute or something because why I keep attracting people who are ugly? I'm like, sis, you are not ugly. It might be the area you in, you know, things like that. But I was talking to my cousin and he was telling me, this was years ago when he told me this. He was telling me how his older cousin at a party would be like, hey, yo, don't go chasing after no girl. Let the girl come to you. Now, I'm... <laughs> I'm like, hold on. It takes some for real confidence for a girl to like shoot her shot with a dude that is, <laughs> you know, she attracted to. It, it takes some strong confidence. But the fact that he told my cousin that, it's like, oh, so if this is how the cute guys are operating, that's why the cute guys ain't coming. Okay, so this, I literally came to this conclusion this week and he had told me that years ago like when I was in high school, that that was the method of approach for women. Like they gonna come over here and twerk on us or whatever. We not gonna go over there. So if they have that approach with a party, I feel like they might have that approach when it comes to dating, things like that. Like I know one of my friends said her brother, the guy, the girls just come to him. Them girls are some different. They bold, okay? Because I'm, af I'm afraid of rejection personally. Um, but I was like, dang. That's probably why. Because I hate to say it. The ugly boys be the bold ones. And that ain't what we want, you know? I personally feel like, along with my other friends, that God is going to give us the desires of our heart. He's not going to put us with nobody that we don't want to be with or who we don't find attractive. You know, so I was telling my friend who felt like she was only attracting um, bozos, other people. I was like, sis, maybe we got to have a new approach. Because she's kind of quiet. But I was like, maybe we need to start posting on social media a little bit more. You know, get cute, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? 
maybe we need to start following people back when they follow us, okay? Or maybe if you wanna take it one step closer, get your foot in the door, maybe you could just slide up on the cute guy's Instagram post with the hard eyes. Now what they do from that, you know, from that point on is up to them because I feel like if I slide up on your photo with the hard eyes and you don't respond or you hit me with that prayer hand crap, I'm deleting the thread. Delete the thread, sis. I'm giving you permission to delete the thread. Okay, because I mean, it just means he don't really see you like that. And I mean, it's okay. But you put your foot in the door for a possible opportunity and that's all that matters. The right one might come when you slide up. Don't do it to everybody, y'all, because you're gonna just be sick and tired of just possibly being rejected. However, but you know, give a little hard eye. See what he do. If he goes, thank you, and you cute too, mm, we should start talking. Then you, ding, 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 you hit one, okay? But if they hit you with that prayer hands, thank you, or just heart the message, delete the thread on Instagram. Thank God for that feature on Instagram. That's the word. So yes, the new approach to singleness is maybe that us cute ladies have to put our foot in the door for those cute guys. Or else we're gonna keep getting those other guys to shoot their shot with us. And that's not what we want. Is it? No. So sometimes you gotta go for what you want, go after what you want, but you have to do it in a subtle way because the Bible says, "Who he who findeth a wife, not she who findeth a man. That's what I don't believe in that girl shooting their shots though. I'm sorry. It says he who findeth a, findeth a wife. But if these dudes out here thinking that they gonna come to me, like they got that much arrogance to think that I'm gonna go to them, I might slide up. That's it. You need to work your magic after that, sir. <sighs> this is the end of this video. This is kind of like a mini rant, but something that me and my friends discussed this week. And I was like, oh my goodness, I got to talk about it on my YouTube. I might actually do a singleness series. That's what it is. Because you realize like so many females out here are still single. And we good girls out here. Me and my friends, I don't have no raggedy friends, okay? They say birds of a feather flock together. If I'm great, they great. They great, I'm great, period. Surround yourself with what you want to become or what you want to be like or what you want to stand for. So me and my friends should not be single right now, but we are not going to lower our standards for a dude that ain't going to come correct. You know what I'm saying? So God is preparing all of me and my friends, husbands, how we gonna meet them? I guess we need to do like Google said in her video. Stop entertaining foolishness. Pray for us, God, because we gonna get there one day. We just get a little bored. Just get a little bored. But um, yes, this is another video of NGB TV. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're still in one of these singleness phases, one of the three levels that I said, um, it's okay since we all in one of the same boat, okay? But God is going to send us our Boaz, okay? I love you guys. Wear your mask. Happy one year in a pandemic. <laughs> it's been a rough year, y'all. It's been a rough one. But we made it through. And we're going to get out of this pandemic as well. Wear your mask. Drink your water. Mind your business. All that good stuff. Like down below. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And turn your notification bell on. I love you guys. And I will try to see y'all in a week. Bye.